What's up everybody and welcome to another edition of AGR's Pop Culture Reviews and I hope everybody is enjoying the long Memorial Day weekend. Now I thought I was going to be able to do something but I got a bunch of stuff from Sideshow Collectibles so it looks like I'm going to be in the studio all weekend so I got all my partying done earlier today so that I can get these reviews out. Arguably one of the best films that has come out so far in the Star Wars universe and my personal favorite was Star Wars Rogue One. As a kid I always wondered about that story just before Star Wars where we kind of try to find out how they got the plans for the Death Star and Rogue Run really tells that story and tells it in a spectacular fashion. Well based on the popularity of that film a lot of merchandise is coming out principally 1-6 scale figures. So today we got something really cool, we're going to be taking a look at Hot Toys, Movie Masterpiece 389, one six scale figure of the Shore Troopers. Guys, if you're a Star Wars fan, I'm sure that you can relate to this. Do you remember way back when, when we first heard the announcement of Star Wars Rogue One and how fast it was going to come? I mean, it was really literally released in December. I remember seeing that first trailer and seeing that battle in that tropical scene where you see the AT-ATs and definitely the design of the Shore Troopers. It was absolutely amazing and it freaking blew my mind. Almost instantly, being a collector of 1-6 scale figures, I said to myself, my god, please get the license for this, we absolutely need those in 1-6 scale. What makes the Shore Trooper design so special is that it's so unique, especially right down to the helmet, but my particular favorite is definitely that beautiful visor. It almost looks like Samus Aran in her freaking Varia suit or something like that. It's just really cool. I especially love all the detail here, the wash, the wear. I mean, you can tell that these are Shore Troopers and veterans at that. They've seen some battle. What's also pretty awesome is, as you can see here, there is a slight discoloration in the armor which looks like they've been out in the sun a lot, which, you know, makes sense because they are shore troopers. Those sun-kissed pieces of armor look amazing juxtaposed against the rest of the coloration in the suit. I'm not sure what those insignias mean, but they really stand out. I love that red kind of cuff near the bicep of the soldier, and especially those blue areas, and then you have that white stripe which looks fantastic, and definitely that yellow stripe along the forearm. Overall, the armor's cool, and just like other stormtroopers, so to speak, it is modularized, which is pretty cool, and adds an extra layer of movement for those very cool poses. I decided to do a more traditional pose here. Guys, arguably the coolest thing about this figure is definitely the rifle, the blaster, whatever it is that it's called. I don't know the designation. It looks absolutely amazing. First of all, it's incredibly detailed for this scale. I think more detailed than I've seen in other troopers. It just looks freaking great. And there are little details in there. It has a lot of wash, so, you know, it simulates that it's been in battle. Just fantastic. I especially like that strap, and it just gives it an overall realism, which is freaking cool. Now, one thing to note, guys, that this is a Hot Toys figure, which means that the materials and the fabric that are used here are absolutely top-notch, and that's definitely evidenced here by the pouch. This is probably where he keeps his magazines for the blaster. I mean, this is just absolutely incredible, a level of craftsmanship that you don't really see with other 1-6 scale figures. I especially like the trousers here. Like I said, it's a Hot Toys figure, so the materials are amazing and it really simulates fabric and it just adds to the overall realism of this piece. The lower half of this figure is equally impressive and you know how I am when it comes to the stance of a figure. Look at the armor here. Not only is it incredibly detailed, but it really goes with this figure. As I mentioned before, this figure is heavily modularized, so it adds for a lot of flexibility in how you want to allow your figure to stand, which is fantastic. You can get more subdued poses or more action poses this way. But for me, the most impressive thing is definitely in his boots. Look at the level of detail there, particularly in the stitching and the overall concept of the way that they did these. Um, unbelievable. And the level of craftsmanship is equal to the fabric on the trousers. And that's always a good thing. It's just awesome. Now, the base for this figure is also pretty cool and pretty unique. Just like other Hot Toys figures, it does come with a standard crotch grabber, no surprise there. But I really like this base. It has a very unique style to it, and in my opinion, it really goes with this figure. Now, on the lip of the base, you have that nice plaque, which you see with most Hot Toys figures, that reads the name of the figure and also the movie that it corresponds to. In this case, it's Star Wars Rogue One, and it is the Shore Trooper. Now, as cool as this figure is, I think the most disappointing part of it, and especially for the fact that it's a Hot Toys figure, this really is light on accessories. In fact, it doesn't have any other accessories except four additional hands for various other poses. And that kind of sucks, but, you know, 
what are you gonna do? You didn't really see too much in terms of accessories in the film, and Hot Toys is really anal about making sure that they get things all movie accurate, so you know what? I mean, it is what it is, guys. Now, the one thing that is pretty cool and something that I haven't seen in any other Troopers or any other Hot Toys figures is this cool kind of lithograph thing which has a really nice image of the helmet profile for this Trooper, which is pretty cool. Now, the other interesting thing about this is that you see that insignia on the left. It's actually textured in a way that makes it somewhat reflective and the other side to the right is actually smooth with the actual profile. So, you know what, it's not a big thing, but it is cool to have and it's a nice thing that you can display with your Shore Trooper. And finally, the last thing that you get with this figure is this kind of cardboard cutout thing that is supposed to be kind of like a diorama for you to display with your Shore Trooper. I personally didn't really like it and to be honest with you, I had no freaking idea how to build this thing because it was kind of awkward and pretty lanky. I mean, you do have it, and it is an accessory. I personally think that the trooper looks great without it, but whatever it is there, guys. So, if you can figure out how the hell this thing goes together, please leave a comment in the comment section. I couldn't figure it out. I just threw it back in the box. Overall, guys, this is another solid piece. I definitely love Star Wars Rogue One, and this is a Hot Toys offering. It's a little bit disappointing because it's a little bit light on accessories, but nevertheless, you cannot deny how cool this Shore Trooper design is, and it's just freaking awesome to have in your collection. And stay tuned, guys, because I'm going to be doing the rest of the line for the 1-6 scales for Star Wars Rogue One. I've already kind of figured out how I'm going to get them, so they are going to be coming very soon, guys, and actually getting them sooner than I thought. So stay tuned for that. Now before I go, I just gotta thank the wonderful folks over at Sideshow Collectibles for sending this wonderful piece over for review. One more thing guys, I just wanted to remind you of the day that we're celebrating tomorrow for those men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice to ensure that this great nation does not perish from the earth. I want to especially shout out to them. Thank you for your service and sacrifice, and you will always be remembered as the heroes that you are. Alright everybody, so that's my official review of the Hot Toys Movie Masterpiece 389 1-6 scale version of the Imperial Shore Trooper. As always, I thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next AGR's Pop Culture Reviews.